Other congressmen have told us that Congress is like high school. Well, they say that it's uh, like high school where you have the popular kids and we have the nerds. What clique are you in? Not the geeks, not the coolest kids, the, the quiet crowd. The nerds? No, not the nerds. Uh, cool kids. You're the cool kid? I think so. I wouldn't be in like, I wouldn't be with the nerds, I don't think. Maybe I would. Do you think I would? Probably. I'm more uh, the pep squad. Politics is a team sport, and there are only two teams, and you are the leader of one of those teams. So how do you get people to vote the way you want them to vote? Uh, my organizing theory on how to organize a majority, a team, is to get people ahead of time to agree to the vision, the principles, and then the agenda that flows from that. Don't get rolled. What does that mean, don't get rolled? Don't get rolled means that when leadership has an initiative, you'll get all kinds of pressure to vote in a way that you may not be comfortable with. And if you have a district agenda and it does not fit for the district, don't get rolled. Have you ever been rolled? I had a situation one time very early on where I was going to be this staunch opponent of voting for a debt limit. So I had this plan, I was gonna go over there, I was gonna go into this back door over by the men's bathroom. I'm gonna go vote no and I'm gonna run. I literally put the card in, there's nobody in the room. And behind me is just like, what are you doing, shithead? It was like literally Darth Vader behind my back. And I turn around and there's Boehner. I'm like, where the hell did you come from? He goes, you know the right vote for you is a yes. And so I changed my vote. And uh, you got rolled. I got rolled. The analogy I use here in the House, we play rugby in the House. They play golf over in the Senate. If you want to move the ball, you have to do it as a team. 